Hi there parents, um, this is a short screen video uh, to show you how you can use Purple Mash. Purple Mash is one of the online platforms that we're going to be using um, should the school be closed. So hopefully by now um, all of your children have received a little logon uh, code that looks a little bit like this. Their name will be on there and this is their password uh, right here. Um, you can also access this if you want to using this URL at the bottom of the screen uh, right here. So um, I've been given permission uh, by Mrs. Warrington to use uh, her son Joey's login details. So I'm just going to put those in right now. So his username is, as I'm typing onto the screen now, and then his password. You'll notice when I do this password, these little animals appear on the right hand side. That's because your children's code has actually made up of an animal, but it's also made up of numbers as well. So I can see that Joey's um, is the bear, it's the penguin, the elephant, and then the little monkey. Where is he? There he is. Okay, and then I just simply click login down here. Okay, once it appears, it's on your child's computer, you can then obviously click to save this. Then they don't ever have to put that username and password in again. I'm not going to do this for Joey anyway. So this is the platform, the landing site that you will see. Now, Purple Mash, we have at school. Your children can use it at any time they like. It doesn't have to just be during school closure. But during school closure, what the teachers can do is they can set work. They can set online learning for your child to do. This will be showing by up here, you'll see. You'll see a little bell that says the word alerts up here. So if I click on this here, it shows me what activity the class teacher has set for Joey to do. Now I actually set this for Joey just as an example. So it's called new to do my dinosaur. Create your own dinosaur using scary felt tips. And if you click on this sometime, the teachers might even record something. Let's just press on this in here. Hi there, Joey. Um, I know you really like dinosaurs, so I'd like you to create this really colorful dinosaur for me, making it look as angry as you can. Thank you. Okay, so there's the learning object. That's what Joey has to do. And I just click go to. As soon as I click that, the activity then opens up on the screen. And Joey's task, or whoever's child's task this would be, would then to use the pens down the side here to then create their own scary dinosaur. Um, how creative can I actually be um, with this? Clearly not Mr. Parkin. Let's make him a little bit more green in there. And on you would obviously go. Creating it, and your child might put some writing at the bottom here. All right. After this, the child then would simply click this button here to exit. And then they would save and exit. If they just click exit, it won't be saved. So they can do that. Alternatively, they can come up to the top corner here, and they can click save their learning here if they want to. So I'm going to do the first one. Click up here. I'm just going to click save and exit. And it's done. Now, this now appears. If Joey's finished his piece of learning, or your child has finished their piece of learning, and they want to physically hand it or the hand it in to their teacher to look at, they must click the hand in button. If they click continue work, obviously that means they can go back to it and they can refine it, they can change it. But I'm going to show you for an example now, I'm just going to click hand in done and the children can leave a message for the teacher if they want to it was great and maybe a little thumbs up emoji or again they might record me a message hi mr parkin i really enjoyed this activity please set me another one bye okay so i've got both text and i've got a recording of it and i just click ok done. Now this has been handed in now. So I'm now going to log out as being Joey. And I'm actually going to log back in as myself now as a teacher who actually set this piece of learning. So from a teacher's perspective now, I get a very similar screen except I get a few more things up here. But look, I've got another alert. I can go to it. And as a teacher, I can see that work for to do my monster has been handed in. I'm going to go to it. And look, I can see who handed it in. It was Joey. Joey handed it in. And I can click on here. There's his feedback. Thank you for this. It was great. Oh, he's left me a message. Hi, Mr. Parkin. I really enjoyed this activity. Please set me another one. Bye. Okay. Obviously, the teachers, they would open up the learning and they would look at it. And equally, 
the teachers would then say some feedback as well. Well done. And again, they might leave a message if they wanted to. Now, let's just say that this piece of learning, the teacher thinks that they could do a little bit more with it. They could then click save and redo. What that would do is it would push the learning back to the child, asking them to redo the thing again. But it would also save this particular copy. So I'm just going to click this and just say save. So that's done. And that's Joey's piece of learning finished. So as your children today are coming home with these little cards, please do take a moment with them to access this portal here and to just go through and maybe play some of the games with them if you like. Something extra parents, you will notice on the cards that you get here that there is a parent code down here. You yourself as parents can actually come on to the portal. You can register yourself as a parent, putting in that parent code, your child's first initial, your email address, your relationship, and set this. This is great because what you can then do is you can check in to make sure that your child is doing their learning and you can see also what sort of feedback the teacher is giving to the children. Okay, I hope this has answered many questions and I hope your children enjoy their online learning.